Welcome Wolf of Wolfettes, we are back with Bloodborne and today we are going to take on the second boss. His name is Father Southink, I do not know what the hell the second word is in his name, <laughs> but you'll be seeing it in a minute. Alright, have I got everything I need? I've got Molotovs, what bullets, I've got blood vials. Oh, I've repaired my weapon last video, I've upgraded a bit, yep. It looks like we're ready. Now this uh, next guy, I've got to tell you Wolf of it. Your gun, for once, has a use. For me, the gun has been pretty pointless the whole time I've played it, but this guy, the gun could be really useful. But the problem is, he also has a gun. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I, I, already, I already know I'm going to die. If I do this in one, then, well, there must be an angel sitting on my shoulder or something. Okay. Central Yarnum. Alright, let's go down here. <laughs> I'm not excited for this. I'll tell you what, Vets, I feel so stressed when it comes to uh, doing the bosses in this game. Oh, yeah, another Molotov cocktail. God, they really are trying to help me out. Shame it's not going to help me out that much, and it's purely going to be because I don't know how to dodge. <laughs> Every single boss, I just dodge so terribly. But what happens when you fill up your chest with supplies and that... If I, um, if I fight this boss and then I use like four of my blood vials and I go down to 16, when I revive, I'll have 20 again because they'll take four out of my supply and give them to me. Now, we're not going to bother with these twats. We're just going to run. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, down we go. Now, we're going to have to uh, dodge that boulder again. We're going to run past Quasimodo and his mate. And then we're going to kill, kill these two other guys because they should be defending something I need. And then we're on to the boss. Oh no. <laughs> it's the Backstreet Boys. Look, come on Backstreet Boys, pack it in. Pack it in. Alright, stop. Oh no. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. How the flipping hell does this guy keep surviving? What are you doing? What'd you call me? He called me a pagan rat or some shit. I ain't no pagan rat. Oh, another Molotov cocktail. Oh, yes. Rolling in supplies. Oh, come on, Beowulf. As always, I doubt I'll be able to speak when I'm fighting this guy. Because I just, I just have to concentrate, you know? God, I dread to think what the final boss is going to be like in this game. I reckon it's going to be a, a disaster. Oh, I should be able to get a backstab on this guy. That's a bit cheeky. You can't be doing all that shit. No, I don't want to lose any health. What did I just say? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? Flipping out the amount of damage I just took. I'm going to have to use like two of my potions already now. Oh, I should have used two potions and then took ease. Damn it. Right, we'll uh, quickly take two just in case these guys have got some potions for me. <laughs> Please have some potions. Oh, thank you, sir. What you got? Oh. Bold Hunters Mark II. Hmm. Okay, Wolf of Vets. Uh, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to die. Right, I've got Molotovs. Bullets. Yep. I've got everything I've, I've got everything I need to thrash this guy. Now, it's all up to me to win. Just crack me knuckles. Right. You ready for it? Because I'm not. <laughs> Where is he? Where are you hiding, you git? Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them. Sooner or later. 
Oh God. Right. <laughs> now, if we, when this guy gets pretty close to you, if you shoot him in the belly, he gets really badly stunned and you can lay into him a bit. So, uh, he is a quick fucker and he's got a gun. Okay, okay. It's his stage three that's a pain in the arse, I'll tell you all for bits. Oh shit, no, no, come on. Oi, oi, come on, you can't shoot back. <laughs> yeah, that's it, shoot the tree. Oh. Okay, come on. Oh, sorry, I farted. I'm a bit scared. Oh shit! Oh yeah, he's gone. He's gone. This is his second second stage where his axe is a bit bigger, and he can reach you pretty far. So you got oh shit, you got to watch out. Shit. He, he, he flipping dodged it. Oh, this is not fair at all. Ah. Oh. Come on, please, just <laughs> let me kill him in one. Oh no, this is it. This is his flipping mental stage, Wolf Morphet. You cannot be... You've got to be so quick now. Okay. Come on, I'm stuck! No, shit! Okay, we are back. Oh, <laughs> hopefully it goes better this time. If I die this time, then I'm going to start being low on blood vials. So hopefully I can just do it this time with no problems at all. It's just that third, that third flipping phase. One mistake and that's it. And you can't look away from him to see where you're rolling. Then you end up getting stuck like I did. Okay, let's do it. You son of a bitch. You can't just keep shooting me, you little prick. <laughs> Piss off. Oh, come on. Oh. Ah, flipping hell.
Okay, come on. This is it. We've got to do it right now. No, come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, the feeling. You, you have to play this game to just know the feeling. Oh, thank you. Oh. Now, I've got no idea where I died, so I don't even know where I've where I dropped my, um... Where's my, uh, souls? Is that my soul? I don't even know where I've dropped my souls. I don't even know where I've got... Oh, there they are. Acquire blood echoes. Oh, we did it, Wolf Warvets. We did it. It's just that stage three. As long as you can get the rolling and the dodging perfectly, then he's not actually that bad. He's first two stages you just can keep shooting the shit out of him and stunning him but the stage after he's just so quick it's a bit like the next boss really when you guys see that it's flipping it's a mental boss gorgeous boss but bloody mental i tell you oh oh my head burns <laughs> and no not that head nah we gotta go through that gate but if you come here and drop down here right here there is an item that you can pick up and what it is is like a gem that you can put in your weapon for like added strength and sometimes it has like different buffs like 5 HP every second, that kind of thing. See? A red jeweled brooch. Ah, lovely. Oh! How did you take a little bit of damage from that drop? I mean, look at that drop, Wolf Morphets. That's pretty... It's pretty sickening, ain't it? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, flipping hell. <laughs> I gotta tell you though, Wolf Morbitz, I think the uh, third boss is actually quite a bit away, so there may be about three episodes before I make it to the next boss. Just to let you guys know now. Open gate with Odon Tomb Key. Oh shit, I need to uh I need to light the um the lamp. He took damage again! What are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's light this. When I, uh, when I fight bosses, though, what I'm going to do for YouTube is I'm going to show you my first uh, attempt at the boss, where I most likely die. And then I'm going to show you my last attempt at the boss, where I actually kill him. So that way you guys can see the mistakes I make when I first go into it. And then you can see what I did when I won, okay? So I'm going to be doing it like that. So I know, I know some of you will get angry that I've left the dying bit in there, but that's just how I do it. You know, because it's helpful, you know. People like to see the errors as well as the goodness. Okay, now, what we need to do is we're going to come up here, and there is going to be a little tool we can get, that we can use on the workbench, and with that tool, we can add these gems to our weapon. And then once we've done that, I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to head to the next area, and then we'll probably have to end it for today. These videos will probably be a little bit shorter when I've just killed bosses, because, uh, you know, <laughs> I, need, I need to relax a little bit. Here we go, and there should be, there we go. Blood Gem Workshop Tool. Ah. Also, another thing. Should I want to tell you what one of the most satisfying things is in this game? When you walk up to a pile of books and you do this. I just I just love doing that. I don't know why. I just... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just brilliant. I love, I love it. Oh, some of the things that impress me in games. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy after killing these bosses. It's definitely an enjoyable game, you know? And if, especially if you've played this game, then you understand what I'm talking about. You're just like, yep, we understand, Beowulf. We understand. <laughs> right, now we're going to head back to the Hunter's Dream. And I'm going to add a, um, a gem to my weapon. And then what we are going to do is I'm going to quickly show you guys something. Because when you kill this guy, I think if you go and talk to another dude, he gives you something. But I'm not sure if, it actually, if we can actually do that yet. I'll find out. If I do it wrong, I'll just cut it out. <laughs> so I don't look like a liar. Okay, right. 
Now let's go on to our inventory. And where is it? What was it? Red jeweled brooch. Now we use it. There we go. A red blood gem. Oh, and a, and a trophy. <laughs> also, I have noticed you can actually make multiple saves in this game because I'm currently playing Bloodborne on my other account, Beowulf the Wolf, because I normally play on Davoom, as you know. But uh, you actually do have multiple saves. I wish I'd known that earlier. <laughs> right, now we're going to come on to here. And as you can see, we've got a new option, Blood Gem Fortification. Now, we're going to go on our Saw Cleaver. And there we go. You've got three, um, three available gem slots. And you, I think you unlock them as you upgrade your weapon. So we're going to use this and it will give us plus 2.7 attack, attack, physical attack. And I don't know what boost rally potential means, but we're going to be doing that. So now. now we're going to put this in it. Uh, and then that's that done. And we're going to quickly repair the weapon. Yes. <laughs> and that's it. Now we're going to quickly... Uh... Oh yeah, this is your chest right here. This is where all of your supplies go. So if I click on it right now, this is all my supplies. And then if I change, I've got seven blood vials in the chest, 62 bullets, and four Molotov cocktails. We'll take all those. Because I think you can only hold ten Molotovs. Okay, now I'm going to quickly show you something else. We're going to go back to here. I'll have to uh, cut out the uh, loading screens. <laughs> okay, I told a liar we're not going to get that item yet. <laughs> the Because uh, if you talk to the um, guy... The one who was sick in episode 1. The guy we spoke to at the window. If you speak to him, I don't know, I guess it's after you kill the third boss or something. But he gives you the flame sprayer. But all I know is I've got it on my uh, my main character. And I've killed three bosses so far. And I was able to get the flame sprayer from him. So maybe you've got to kill three bosses, I'm not sure. But let's continue, let's go back up here. And then this will be the next area of the game. And holy shit, the enemies start getting a little bit more vicious in this place. <laughs> As well as you start getting some things like poison and all that annoying shit start appearing. That's when the game becomes frustrating as hell. Alright, well, I'm next got to do something. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I've got eight insight at the moment. Holy shit. I think if I get two more, I can speak to the new vendor and we can buy two bells. Actually, I'll show you that next episode if I remember. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, the, the atmosphere of this game. It's, it's superb. They, they've done it perfectly. Literally perfect. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm not going to... I don't mean to be rude or anything, sir, but you look like a slug. <laughs> oh, he's got a pretty sad-looking face. Oh. Hmm? Oh, you must be... Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> 
hot. I actually like the sound of that. Oi, if you don't mind, could I like take one of these candles and pull it like as a make it into a bit of a backpack and then just wear it? Because then everyone will just leave me the hell alone. <laughs> Okay, right. I'm going to have to end it here, Wolf and Wolf. This is maybe a little bit of a shorter episode as I wanted to keep the videos at around 30-ish minutes. But I may have actually recorded for 30 minutes. I'm not sure. Because of all the because of all the uh, running back and forth and doing stuff and having to cut out bits that I say that are wrong and stuff. It makes me not know how long I've recorded. <laughs> but thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Like, share, and join the pack today. Woohoo!